my name is Clint Higley. And like I said before, with me is Michael Dorr. Some of y'all may know us um, if you've worked with us before. Uh, but we're, today we're covering printing with Documents Corpac for Dynamics 365 and Power Apps as well. Okay, just kind of basically what does this entail? Uh, there's basically two steps to print. So if you're already a DCP customer or you're planning on being a DCP customer, um, there's only two things that you need to do in order to print. Um, there's two different types, though, for you to be aware of, and we're going to go over the differences between the two. One is the DCP print service. One is the print application. So you figure out which one's going to best suit your needs, and then you just basically configure and deploy these, um, these, these, two, um, these two solutions, either the app or the print service. Um, also, once you've done that, then you'll need to just define your printers, which, again, we'll go over. And uh, then you'll be able to access those from Dynamics 365. Power Automate or your Canvas apps, okay? So you'll, you'll be able to use those from any of those three. Um, let's talk a bit about uh, the the two service types, right? Or the two types, two things that we have: the print service and the print application. The print service is uh, basically designed for network or shared printers, okay? So if you you know the big printer that you have down the hallway that everyone uses and prints their stuff to, you would use that for something like that. Um, this supports multiple printers. It supports printing at high volumes. For example, we do have a customer that um, sets up, uh, you know, a whole bunch of batch letters and shoots them over to the printer in the mailroom and prints them all out. Um, uh, it's, it has the advanced service management piece to it um, and enhanced logging. Uh, it's recommended to deploy this on a print server or to just a, a, a server that you have on your network. Don't put it on someone's local PC. Whereas uh, the print application, it's basically for personal use or non-shared printers. Um, so, you know, it's capable of doing low print volumes, has some logging capabilities, things of that nature, and it's deployed on the user's individual machine. Okay, this would be something for like, you know, if you're working on something, you have a local printer next to you, or you have like a little small um, uh, printer there in your, in your little office. Uh, you can set that up to print to that, so you can you can create your documents and have them sent, be sent over to that printer. One thing of note here, the print application, um, the, in order to use this print application, it is an application, so the user must be logged onto their machine um, in order to use it, whereas the print service is an actual service and will be on, it's on demand 24-7. Okay, so print application, if you're not logged on, it will not work, okay? So moving on, what are the few things that we can print to? So we can print, say, for example, from the dialog in our command bar. So if you've um, used Documents Corpac before and used the Documents Corpac dialog, you may have seen this, uh, you know, this print document option here. Basically, select that, have a list of printers. We'll show you that in just a minute. Um, you're also able to print actions from your flow. We have three different types that you can use, and we'll go over those as well. Last but not least, you can call print actions from Canvas apps. Something like this would be really good. Let's say, for example, if you have a salesperson out in the field, they can use this from their mobile device. Um, and, you know, for example, they can put in an order and you can have it print to the warehouse, like have an order printed out to the warehouse and the warehouse can start working on it without the user having to basically come back in to their machine and print it off. Um, so that, that's a really cool feature, kind of like, I think this is one of the neatest things kind of going forward. So we'll show you all this here. We'll talk a little bit about the demo, what we're going to do. Talk a little bit about the printer setup, uh, basically how to set up the printer in the print service. Um, then we're going to review the print setup in our print application. Um, they're relatively similar. Um, so, you know, just want to show you so that you're familiar with it. Uh, the second piece is that we're going to, you know, kind of print some documents. Um, uh, just because, you know, I don't want to turn a webcam on or anything like that. I have a PDF printer set up um, on this machine that will, you know, print out the documents that I create and sort of simulate a printer. Uh, but we're going to print a, uh, um, a document via the Documents Corpac dialog. I'm going to show you how to do this and print from Flow and show you what it's like printing from a Canvas app, from a, uh, a sample Canvas app that we've, we've kind of created. So uh, let me go ahead and get over to my demo system here. And the first thing that we want to look at is this would be the Documents Corp, setting up a Documents Corpac print service. Uh, now, if you've been using Documents Corpac for a long time, this might look familiar to you. 
because <coughs> if you're uh, the on-premise version of Documents Corpac, this is the service overview. So um, when you want to use this, basically what you need to do, you need to download that Documents Corpac server piece, even if you're using our, our cloud service. You'll install that on the server. It, you just kind of go through the setup, and then you'll want to come in here and set up a service, okay? Um, setting this whole thing up is not going to change anything on your cloud print service, right? You know, you're just, um, you're just going to come in here and set this up. So what you do basically is you're going to want a new service set up. I'm not going to go through this. I'm going to go through this real quick. Just give it a name. And the most important thing of note is that you have a choice here. I'm just going to bring up this print service here that I have is you want to make sure that this is set only to print jobs. So only print jobs, right? So you want this service here to do only print jobs. It's very important that if you've been with us for a while and have an online service, you need to go make sure and check that service because you do have those options as well on your online service. You need to make sure that it is set up for only, the online service is set up for only document generation jobs. So basically the online service is gonna take care of the document generation jobs. And this service that we have here on our local network is going to take care of the print jobs, all right? You may got, wanna make sure it's not set up for both because if you have the online service set up for both, it's a little bit faster and it will actually snag those print jobs away and you'll wonder why things didn't print. All right, so once you have that set up, just hit the save configuration um, and then you'll you'll need to define your printers here. So I can go ahead and click on this on the printer tab. You see I have a few printers already set up. Uh, to set up a new printer, all I do is come up here and click new. Um, and then I want to give this a name, CMS Office printer, right? So I'm going to set that, use the local printer. I can go and be as descriptive as I want to here. Now, uh, from here, I get a choice of all my printers that I have set up on um, this local machine. So it would be on, on your local server here. I'm going to take this. Uh, this is our office printer here. Go ahead and select that. And then once I have that selected, then we see the what the printer can actually do. And we can actually change these default settings. OK, so let's say for this one, I'll set this one up and I want it to be default. Let's say just in case, like, so, so for example, I wanted it also to print, this thing can also print, um, say, uh, landscape mode, orientation is landscape mode. Um, I, what I would do is I would save this printer, go ahead and set up another US office printer, select the same printer, give it like another descriptive name, say landscape, for example. And then I could come down here to the orientation and say here that I want to make sure that this is landscape, okay? So you can define these things as much as you want to. It's really simple. And easy to do so once i'm done with that i just save and close and then i have my printer in the list okay save the service configuration close this out and that's all it's ready to go it's ready to print so that's the print service okay let's show you the uh the uh the print application print application once you have it installed lives down here in your system tray right here you can see i'm actually connected uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click this, open this configuration and give it just a minute to kind of wind itself up here. And here we go. So it's loading up all my settings, pulling everything together for me. And takes its sweet time but here we go so this is basically it may look familiar because it's very similar as i said before to what i have so i have this set up here um there's a couple things here this is just for this is like for debugging options here um batch delay it's going to be set at default by 90. um you can re i recommend you take it all the way down to uh the batch delay of five um that means it's, it is going to actually pull pull more often but uh, you'll get a faster, uh, faster print, right? So just depending on how how you want to do it, this this can be set up however you want. Default's 90, but I reckon this is going to be the fastest. Five is going to be the fastest you can almost go. All right. Here, for example, so I only have one printer in this list, but it's say I had several like local printers that I want that I defined. You'd have them all here, and you can enable them and disable them from right here. Uh, the next piece is here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the printers here. And uh, once this then pulls up, 
you'll see it's exactly the same as the other window, right? So I have my, my printer defined here, um, and I can actually edit this printer if I want to bring up the configuration. It's definitely the same thing as you've seen before. It takes a little while to grab all that stuff back from Dynamics because um, everything's kind of saved underneath there. So we'll just give it a second. But again, you can define multiple printers in here. Um, you can actually also define like some, some network printers if you want to, um, if you want to set that up locally. So we'll give it just a second um, until that comes up. There we go. So I have my printer again. It's the, it's the same thing, right? So once I have that then defined, let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to use this. So let me close this out. All right. So the first thing that I want to show is the Documents Corpac dialog here. Um, I have a quote, and let's say that I just want to print this quote out. Um, that's just all I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Create Document button here. Uh, and then I'm going to decide every step just to kind of show you, kind of walk you through this. I'm going to use the following template here. And then what I'm going to do here is I am going to create a, say, a PDF, and I'm going to print it. I would just here select my printers here. I have, you can see here, I've got my uh, printers that are in our Austrian office, as well as my personal local printer, All right? So I'll go ahead and select that one and go ahead and say next. Now what it's doing is actually going through and creating the document. It takes just a few seconds for that to go through, pulling that information from Dynamics, putting it in the template. Um, I have my document here. Uh, so now in order to print it, I need to click this finish button. As you can see here, click finish to proceed. So I'll click finish <coughs> and give it just a second. And so it, it creates uh, the, the print job in the background. Then my, uh, my, um, my print application is actually going to pick it up. And then it's going to, um, to spit that out for me. So it just takes it just a second. Usually the first one's the worst one. So there we go. So I've got it here. This is my PDF printer that I have, just basically to simulate a printer. So I'll then save this and it'll open it up. And you can see here that um, it basically prints out my documents. So this would be spit out to a printer, okay? All right, so as you notice though, I had all the printers basically available to me. I had the all the printers in the Austrian office and. You know, I'm not really going to be printing anything in the Austrian office. So how can I limit the selection of printers, right, just to see my printers? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, basically here, what you want to do in order to uh, kind of define these for the different users is you hit the, uh, it hits your advanced settings. In your advanced settings, you want to go to Documents Core Pack here under Settings, Documents Core Pack. All right, and then from here, we're going to go here to the general settings, and then we're going to go to the documents Corpac dialog settings. Under here, we have a setting assigned printers to teams or users. I'll hit the change button. I have a list of all my printers in this dynamic system here. Uh, go ahead and select my printer. And what I'm going to do is add myself as a user to it. So let's see. That particular user and select and add. So then this user is um, is assigned to this printer. You can assign other users to this printer as well, or teams of users. As you can see here, you have the choice between teams or actual users themselves, okay? So once I do that, I have everything set up what I want, how I want. I hit update, and I need to scroll down to the bottom here and then save the configuration. That's a really important step, save that configuration. So once that's done, if I come over here, and I hit my create document button again, and I decide every step, select the same template. Uh, you'll notice here that I only have my printer to choose from. So it allows you to um, assign printers to users so that you know it's just, you know it's less confusing or you know it's not as cumbersome. So you can assign that to teams of users or different users. So it's a pretty neat little feature, and this works in the Documents Corpac dialog. All right. Uh, moving on to flow, uh, basically what I have here is I have a flow that we have, and let's say, for example, this is a where we're basically going to create a quote and an email body, and I'll actually, let me just go through it with you real quick. 
uh, once this comes up. Give it a second. Let it think. Oh, it's really thinking hard today. So that's really interesting. So basically what I have here is when an update is triggered on a quote, um, what I'm going to do here is look for the status is equal to one, which is active. So I'm looking for active quotes. All right. I have the step. I'll create the email. I use the documents core pack connector um, to uh, create a PDF document. If you don't have the documents core pack connector installed on your um, available to you in your uh, in your uh, in Power Automate, you can actually look for those connectors. You can search for documents core pack. You'll find it, you can install it, and then you can use it. Um, it makes this a whole lot easier. So basically, I'm creating a PDF document. I'm attaching the PDF to this email up here. I'm creating the email content, attaching this content to the email body, and then I'm sending the email. But let's say, for example, in here that I wanted to also print the document um, for, you know, for so I can, like, file it away. So what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and add a step here. Put that in there. Add an action. And we'll print this file. Uh -huh. Just uh -huh. drop down the printer name. I, I know. I think I know. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. So here we got our file name. Here we got our DCP printer. Right. Um, so that's basically what that's going to look like. Uh, we'll go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to run it for everybody. You know, So I'll come back here to my quote. Um, I will activate this quote. And while this thing's being activated, we're going to slip back here into the flow. Come back over to here. And we got it running. So it's going along. One of the things I'm... Uh, this is a little bit disappointing, but while this, these conditions are running now, it used to be able to, you used to be able to jump into them and see them going. Unfortunately, now you can't anymore. So you kind of have to like sit here and wait for a minute, keep your fingers crossed, and uh, hope that all this stuff, because you know all, most of this stuff is taking place in the condition. There's the yeah, there's thing. a print. Yeah. There's the print, and there is my printed document. So there we go. Let's check this. Uh, let's check the Canvas app and see kind of what's going on here. So I have this little embedded Canvas app here. <clears throat> uh, basically, what this thing is going to do is it's going to create a document. So we'll grab here this document uh, from the selector here. I'm going to generate a PDF. I just hit my generate button and just wait for it to go. All right, so I have my document where I can download it, and then I can actually print it here to my to my PDF printer. So I'll go ahead and print. And let's see how this works out. There we go, it's coming through. And there I have my printed document here. Close that. So there we go. So yep. So there was that little snafu with the um, with flow. I'll probably be looking into that to see exactly what happened. Uh, but that brings us to basically the end of our presentation and demonstration. I want to thank you all for coming. I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope everybody's wearing a mask. I uh, just want to uh, say that you can find us on the web at wwwmscrm Uh If you're interested in any of our um, our solutions, uh, you can get them on AppSource. Just do a search for MSCRM add-ons. It'll pull those and see all the different um, applications that we have to offer besides Documents Core Pack. Again, uh, so for any support, any technical questions or anything like that, you can go onto our website, click the support button, um, it'll get you right to that, and you have a couple different options there on how to interact with us if you have any questions.